a simple pig fattening feed formulation plan. From between 9 and 14 weeks, when the piglets exit the transition phase, the fattening phase begins. It lasts until the pigs are transported to slaughter when they weigh between 85 and 170 kilograms. All this must happen under 6 to 7 months for maximum profitability. The feed you offer your pig should be high in protein, followed by foods that provide energy, fat, some fiber, as well as vitamins and minerals, to help them gain the most weight possible. Given that the cost of feed is the primary production expense at the fattening stage, farmers' major goal is to attain a decent feed kilogram of meat conversion rate. To fatten pigs effectively, their nutritional needs to contain 2,400 to 2,500 kilocalories of calories, 16 to 23 percent crude protein, 3 percent fat, 5 percent crude fiber, and 0.4 to 0.5 percent each of calcium and phosphorus. Corn or maize, wheat, sorghum, brewer's waste, tallow, barley, rice, cassava, and other readily accessible carbohydrates can be used as pig energy sources. You may include sunflower meals, full-fat soya beans, and even tallow as fats. Soybean meal, fish meal, blood meal, black soldier flies, fermented sweet potato vines, azola, commercial protein concentrates like those from Grobel concentrates Kenya, cottonseed meal, canola meal, and other high-quality protein sources that are readily available to you are some of the good protein sources for your pigs. Pig fattening formulation for pig weighing between 25 kgs to 80 kilograms. To make 100 kilograms of fattening feed for pigs weighing between 25 and 50 kilograms, you will need 68.2% of the feed to be energy giving food, which is 68.2 kilograms out of 100 kilograms of the feeds. This could come from grounded corn and maize, sorghum, barley, wheat, or any other carbohydrate feeds available to you. Proteins should account for 25% of overall diets. That means, 25 kilograms out of 100 kilograms should be protein. This protein can be derived from soybean meal, fish meal, blood meal, canola meal, cotton cake meal, black soldier flies, or any other protein source. If you use protein concentrates, read the instructions carefully because they contain more protein than the above-mentioned protein sources. Dietary fiber should account for 6% of total feeds, which translates to 6 kg per 100 kg. Fiber may be obtained from a variety of sources, including wheat bran, maize bran, rice bran, and so on. This is the most basic approach to fattening your pigs. The supply of nutrients varies by place, for example, one area may have easy and affordable access to fish meals for proteins, but another may have easy access to soybean meal or cotton seed cake. In either case, utilize what you have, but it should be of high quality. If the quality of the feed on the market is poor or cannot be trusted, using concentrates will be the best alternative for your pigs. Summary of Formulation to make 100 kgs of feed for fattening your pigs you will need 68.2 kgs energy giving food such as maize, corn, sorghum, barley, wheatie.t.c 25 kgs of protein giving feed such as soybean meal, cotton seeds cake, canola meal, black soldier flies, fish meal e.t.c 6 kgs of dietary fiber from wheat bran, rice bran, Rice Branny.t.c